In deep snow, just moving can be almost impossible. When you consider that on a snowmobile, what takes 15 minutes traveling by machine can take up to 24 hours to walk, there are some real problems. Being able to improvise can be vital. I guess you could say I'm improvising now. I've borrowed the crew's cabin here so that I can show you clearly how to make this. This is the tool that will get you out through deep snow, the improvised snowshoe. Any wood will work for this as long as it's flexible. Stripping the bark off helps the bindings to stay tight. Now I'm just going to tie them loosely to start with at the, the fine tip. Now I've got to establish the point of balance for the snowshoe because I, when I walk in it only the toe is going to be attached. And I want the point to tip up so that it doesn't dig into the snow each time I take a step. There we go, I've lashed on the two cross pieces. This forward one goes under the ball of my foot and this rearward one under the heel. I've obviously used nylon cord. There's no real way of improvising that from natural materials in this environment in the winter. So that's one of the critical pieces of equipment you should always have in your pocket. At the tail end of the snowshoe, I just loosely bind the sticks together so there's a bit of movement in them, some play, so they don't get broken. To finish a snowshoe, I need to curve the prow up like that, just like a ski, with this cord here, and put on some binding material. I'm using lamp wick, which is a strange material that very commonly used in the far north. It's been used for binding materials for centuries, and it's absolutely perfect for this job. Something you can often find left in cabins. Right, well the proof of the pudding is in the doing. <laughs>